Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will analyze this equation which says that x percent of y is equal to y percent of x. For example, if we take 83 percent of 600, is it equal to 600 percent of 83? So let us examine, 83% of 600 is 83% of 600, that means 83 times 6, that is 498. Okay, let us examine the reverse process, that is y percentage of x. So let us bring 600 here and 83 there. So that will be 600% of 83. So that is again 600 per cent of 83. So here still we are getting 6 into 83 that is 498. That means this statement is true. Now we will see why this is true for every x and y. That means whatever number you put instead of x and y, this equation is true. And why does it happen? X percentage of Y is actually X percent of Y which can be written as X times Y by 100 as well or you can replace, I mean uh, uh, multiplication is commutative so we can write y multiplied by x by 100 or you can split it like this y by 100 multiplied by x which is equal to y percent of x. So this is y, x percentage of y is equal to y percentage of x due to the commutative property of multiplication. You can use this concept to simplify your calculations. For example, suppose we need to find the 12% of 50. So instead of finding 12% of 50, we can make it equal to 50% of 12, which is a little easier because 50% means half. So it is equal to 6. You can find it a little faster. So uh, let us take one more example to illustrate it. 32% of 25 is also equal to 25% of 32. 25% is 1 fourth. 1 fourth of 32 is 8. 